We're going to continue with lesson 1.2. This is the second part, and we're going to look some more at symmetry. And here we've got some definitions, I guess, and it, at, it tells us that if we want to test an equation for symmetry, either with the x-axis, the y-axis, or the origin, um, we can replace the values of the variables with the opposite va value of that variable to see if we result in the same equation. And this kind of looks like a lot of words to describe. If I want to test for symmetry over the x-axis, in the equation, I'm going to take y and I'm going to put in a negative y and I'm going to see if the equation is the same equation. All right, so let's just look at x symmetry right now, or symmetry about the x-axis. I'm going to take the y var variable and change it to the opposite value of that variable. So instead of y, I'm going to put in negative y. Does that equal 4x squared over x squared plus 1? Okay, so now I'm just going to solve for y. And to do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by negative 1. And when I do that, I end up with y equals, because I want to get y by itself, Negative 1 times 4 is negative 4x squared over x squared plus 1. So it's asking us, are these two equations the same? And they are not the same. So no, we don't have symmetry over the x-axis. So now let's check for symmetry over the y-axis. And up in our rule here, for the y-axis, I'm going to replace x by negative x. Okay, so I'm going to take the variable x and I'm going to plug in negative x. And I'm going to simplify and see if it's the same equation. So here, y stays the same. And then I have 4 times x, which I'm going to make that negative x. And I'm going to square it and add 1. On the bottom, I have x, which I have, I'm going to change that to negative x. I'm going to square that. Whoops, this plus 1 goes on the bottom, sorry. And add 1. So here is 4 times negative x squared over negative x squared plus 1. Now we're going to simplify this. And when I square a negative, it becomes positive, because this is negative x times negative x. So this is y equals 4 times x squared. And when I square this negative, it becomes positive. So this is x squared plus 1. And I want to know, is this here the same as what we started with? 4x squared over x squared plus 1. So yes, this is the same. So I would say that this equation is symmetric over the y-axis. All right, so it would from flipping side to side, it would look the same. Now we want to know, is the equation symmetric about the origin? Okay, so we have three different tests here. If an equation is symmetric about the origin, you're going to replace x by negative x and y by negative y. Okay, so you've got to do both the negatives. All right, so x goes to negative x, y goes to negative y. Do we get the same equation? So this time, 
I'm going to have y, and this time I'll make that negative y, equals 4 times negative x squared over, x is negative again, negative x squared plus 1. When I simplify this, I check to see if I get the same equation. So here, I'm going to simplify my x's first. So I have negative y. So I know that negative x squared, negative x when I square it becomes positive. So this is 4 times x squared over x squared plus 1. And now if I want to get rid of this negative, I need to multiply both sides by negative 1. And I end up with y equals negative 1 times 4 is negative 4 and x squared over x squared plus 1, which is the same thing we had over here. And we know that this is not the same as this equation. So this one, running out of space, is no. There is not symmetry about the origin. There is not symmetry about the x-axis, but there is symmetry about the y-axis. All right, we're going to do another one of these, or a couple more. So here we have graph the equation y equals x to the third power by plotting points. All right, so let's come up with some points for y equals x to the third power. Okay, so remembering um, when we're graphing points, I need some x values. Remember, we want to look on both sides of uh, the y-axis, so I need to pick some negative x values, some positive x values, and um, we always want to check zero. So let's try negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. If I did negative 2 to the third power, negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 is negative 8. Negative 1 to the third power is negative 1. Okay, and we can see that negative 1 times negative 1 times negative 1. This is positive 1 times a negative 1 is negative 1. 0 to the third power is 0. 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. And 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. All right. So I am going to plot these points. I have negative 2, negative 8. It's about right here. Negative 1, negative 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 2, 8. And if I were to connect these points, This is what my curve would look like. All right, so we graph the equation. So we did this part by plotting points. And it says to find the intercepts and check for symmetry first. All right, so they're asking us to check for symmetry. So symmetry here. So if I want to find symmetry over the x-axis, all right, remember we take y and change it to negative y in our equation. So if our equation is y equals x to the third power, is this the same thing as negative y equals x to the third power. So 
if I want to make this solve for y again, just to get y by itself, I'm going to multiply this by negative 1. So this is y equals negative x to the third power. It is not the same. So no, we don't have symmetry over the x-axis. Okay, and we can kind of see that in our graph. So I have a point up here. If I had a symmetry about the x-axis, I would have this point down here, and I don't have it down here. So the, according to the graph, I don't have symmetry about the x-axis. How about the y-axis? This time, we're going to take x, and we're going to replace it with negative x. So in my equation, y equals, I'm going to change x to negative x, and cube it. Now, if I cube a negative, this is just going to be negative x cubed, which is what we had up here. So I don't have symmetry about the y-axis. And we can also see that this point does not have a reflected point over the y-axis. Now, how about symmetry over the origin? And in this case, we have to do y is negative y and x equals negative x. So in my equation, I'm going to replace y with negative y. Does that equal negative x cubed? All right, so here... What we did up here, if I cubed negative x, I get negative x to the third power. And that's still negative y. And now if I multiply both sides by negative 1, this becomes y, positive y, equals positive x to the third power. And that's the same equation that we have. So yes, we do have symmetry about the origin. And I can also see that on the graph because if I take a point and I connect it to the origin and keep going in that line, I have another point that's the same distance. Okay, and it happens with all of the points. Coming here to the origin and then keep going, I have a reflected point about the origin. So the graph y equals x to the third power only has symmetry about the origin. And it also asks us to find the intercepts. Okay, so the intercepts the only place this graph crosses either axis is at the origin. Okay, so we would say that the x-intercept equals 0, 0, and the y-intercept is at 0, 0. Okay, a lot of work in that one. Okay, so this one asks us to graph the equation x equals y squared and to find any intercepts and check for symmetry first. All right, so graphing the equation, I need to make a table. Let's use our same values, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. Now, Maybe that's not what I wanted to do. I'm going to change this because I wasn't thinking here. This time I'm going to pick some y values. Okay, the, these are flipped, but I want to square the y value to get the x value. So I'm still going to keep my x, y table in the same order, but this time I'm going to pick y values. Here I'm going to pick negative 1 
negative 2, 0, 1, and 2. All right, so if I take my y value and I square it, that will give me x. So negative 1 and I square it, that gives me positive 1. Negative 2, I square it, that gives me positive 4. 0 squared is 0. 1 square it, that gives me 1. And 2 squared is 4. So let's plot these points. I have over to negative 1, whoops, over 1, down 1, over 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, down 2, 0, 0, 1, 1, and 1, 2, 3, 4, up 2. And here's my graph. So then it asks us to find the intercepts. Intercepts here is only at 0, 0. So again, that's the x-intercept, 0, 0. And the y-intercept is at 0, 0. And now let's look for symmetry. And we can, and we are going to do this algebraically, um, to test for symmetry about the x-axis. Okay, so if I look at my x-axis, I am expecting to see that I have some symmetry here because it looks like this part of the graph is just flipped over. All right, so remember in the x-axis, I take y and I make it negative y. So in my equation, x equals y squared, so I'm going to have now negative y and square it, and that becomes x equals y squared, because the negative squared makes it go positive again. So yes, I have symmetry about the x-axis. Now, if I just anticipate over the y-axis, I don't flip anything over the y-axis. So the y-axis is not going to have symmetry, but if I just check algebraically, I'm going to replace x with negative x, and in my equation, I'm going to have x or negative x equals y squared. And in this case, this is not the same equation as this. So I do not have symmetry about the y-axis. And if I look at the origin, if I had symmetry about the origin, this point here to the origin, keep going, would, I would expect to have another point here. So I'm not reflecting about the origin, but I can just show that algebraically. If I take x and make that negative x, and y is negative y, negative y squared becomes y squared, and this is negative x. So x here would be negative y squared, which is not the same. So this does not have symmetry over the origin. Okay, and that's about it for this lesson.